Good morning, my friends, and hello from Epcot. Today, I am here to finally check out World Celebration Gardens, which we have waited a very long time for because Disney tends to move very slow when it comes to construction and new projects. It is what it is. Also, today is Mr. Walt Disney's birthday. So, happy birthday, Walt. Let's get inside and check it out. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this as we have the monorail coming by. It's gonna be a good day. All right, I have made it inside of Epcot. The park just opened. Let's head over to World Celebration Gardens. It has been quite a while since I've last park opened a Disney park. I forgot how wild park opening is, but it's a lot of fun. Passing by the backside of Spaceship Earth and the walls are down officially. Wow. Let's just try to keep the camera rolling, shall we? It's very open and spacious. I can't believe I am finally back in the middle of Epcot after all of this time. And there's Mr. Walt Disney, right there. Oh, he looks great. I like this touch a lot. There is a pretty lengthy line right now to take a picture with the statue. There's a view I have not seen in a very long time. We'll come back to the statue. Let's continue moving on here. I'm actually going to go back this way because there's hardly anybody in this direction. Right off the bat here, I am noticing a ton of seating all over the place, which Epcot really needed more areas for people to enjoy their food and just relax. Also, they have added chargers. Look at that. So you can charge your phones. That's a nice touch that was needed. And not only do you have tables and chairs, but you have plenty of benches. This will come in handy. Here's some nicer lounge chairs here. I mean, plenty of chargers all over the place. And there's Connections Cafe, so you can grab your coffee and come right over here. Not only do you have your outlets, but you also have four USB ports as well. It smells so new. It still smells like fresh paint. And right here used to be the main water fountain. And this is what we have now. I mean, it is very nice, don't get me wrong, but I do really miss that fountain that was so iconic to this theme park. Look at this view. What a great view. There's a ton of plants, and then you have these pillars. I think they're just speakers and lights. We'll see at nighttime when we come back to watch Luminous. I'm now heading towards the back. If you continue walking in this direction, that will lead you back to World Showcase. I like these light fixtures. Those are very fancy. Look at this area. It's very private. This would be a great place to bring your family to have lunch. Again, you have your own outlets right there. Very cool. Oh my goodness. I mean, I know I've said it already, but great job, Disney, adding Plenty of seating and chargers. I mean, look at this, more outlets right here. Nice, you have even more USB ports along this table here. Now over here, you have Communicore Hall. And of course, this is not opening today with everything else because Disney is still working on this building. We do not have an opening date for this. They still have a lot of work to do. I like how there's a tree right in the middle of the seating area right here. It's starting to come together though. This is the closest that I've gotten 
to see this construction. I really do like these lighting fixtures. I don't know. You know, this area is very nice. Don't get me wrong. It just doesn't feel Disney to me. I hope that makes sense. But it's still very nice. It's very open, very spacious. I mean, there's chargers every few feet you go and there's a place to sit in every direction. If you wanna stand, you have that option too. Huh. Yeah, it just doesn't feel very Epcot to me. Then you have Moana Journey of Water right over there. Oh my goodness. Now this is Disney magic right here. There's Minnie, Goofy, Mickey Mouse, and Figment. Now are you the master right here uh, yeah, of yes. the creations? <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. I really do miss the fountain. I wish they would have brought that back or kept it. I have not explored over here yet. There's a ton of Disney Imagineers walking throughout the area, which is always nice to see. What is this? I would love to know more of the backstory about World Celebration Gardens and, you know, the decision making that went into choosing everything. You have photo pass photographers back here. Good morning. Oh, wow, we can really see a good shot of Communicore Hall. Let me walk over here. Good morning. Good morning. Look at this. Now, I do think this is going to look very cool when it's done. And then if you continue walking in this direction, this will lead you to, again, Moana Journey of Water and then Living with the Land and Soarin'. I'm trying to think about what I want to say. And don't get me wrong, I love this. I am so happy we can now walk through the middle of Epcot. It feels like, well, it almost feels like Epcot to me. Again, I know I've said this already, but it just, it doesn't feel like Disney to me. Kind of just looks like, and again, you guys know me, I'm always honest and transparent. I tell you how it is, that will never change. Just kind of feels like I'm at like a, a Hilton or Marriott outside. Or it kind of feels like a, a college campus. Yeah, let's go with a college campus. Or like an outdoor outlet mall. I just, I'm trying to find the Disney touches. Oh, there's Pluto. Good morning, Pluto. Good morning, how Good are to you? see you. Hello. We're looking for some dog bones. If you see any, please let us know. Find it yet? Oh my goodness. I know you put a big red X on it, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Any candy canes? If I see any bones or anything, I'll let you know, Pluto. Okay. All right, I got you. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's nice. I love the amount of seating. I love all of the chargers. Those are very nice to have because I can't tell you guys how many times I'm here at Disney and my phone just about dies and it's nice to have that option. I would like some wireless charging. That would be a nice touch. It just, I miss how Epcot used to be. I personally think there was nothing wrong with how it was and I think originally Disney had this grand master plan and then 2020 happened and budget cuts and Chapek and Iger, their decision making and I just feel like the Imagineers did not have the amount of funds that they wanted to have and this is what they were able to do with the amount of money they were given and they did a good job with what they had. It's just, you know, 
where's Disney? Honestly, I would not know I'm at Epcot if it wasn't for Spaceship Earth right over here. And I said the same thing about Moana Journey of Water and you know, as I'm thinking with the new hotels and the renovations Disney is doing to the already existing hotels, I just feel like they're trying to make everything more modern. You know, I remember as a kid coming here to Walt Disney World and I just felt so immersed in everything from the moment I stepped foot on property to the moment I got on the plane and I just feel like, hello, good morning. I just feel like Disney is just losing their touch because this area just feels very commercial. I think that's the proper word that I want to use. It, it just, it looks and feels very commercial. And you know, I don't want you guys to take this the wrong way. I'm very happy that this is open because you know, the, the main piece of Epcot is always the middle of Epcot. This area right here, World Celebration Gardens. And we'll see what happens when Communicore Hall opens. I feel like that will add a bit more to this area, but for now, same thing with like Moana Journey of Water. It's just, I don't know. Feel free to let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm very curious. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I don't know, I'm torn. I do really like how Pluto is just walking around World Celebration Gardens and I feel like if Disney adds, you know, like the Fab Five characters where they just walk around this area, that's going to be a very nice touch at least until Communicore Hall opens because that's going to be the new character spot. Oh my goodness, there's Daisy Duck. I think I found the perfect word. I feel like a lot of this is generic, but not in a horrible way. I just feel like a lot of this stuff, again, I would see at a Marriott or a Hilton. All right, I am going to hop in line to have my photo with the Walt Disney statue. I am now in line to have my photo with the Walt Disney statue. There is a little bit of a line here. The line was not moving at all, so I decided to hop out of it because the cast members were telling us it was probably going to be about a 45 to an hour wait. But this is what the statue looks like. I do really like this touch. I love it actually. And it's so good to be here on Walt Disney's birthday. Always be in a state of becoming Walt Disney. Look at this view. This is cool. It does look like some Disney characters will still be meeting here, but I will say, I feel like this area at the very front of the park doesn't really match World Celebration Gardens. I love this area so much, I think just because of this fountain. Another thought that I had, I feel like that Walt Disney statue should be right here as soon as you enter Epcot, not in the gardens. That is World Celebration Gardens as we have construction happening in the back here. Again, I am so happy that we can now walk through the center of Epcot once again. I do like the theme of it. I think it looks nice. I love how open and spacious it is. I love all of the seating. I love all of the chargers. I love how so far Disney has characters kind of in their spots throughout the gardens. I've seen Pluto and I just saw Daisy, so I'm sure characters will rotate, which is a nice touch until you get the new Communicore Hall open. But I guess I was expecting a little bit more just because it took so long to make. Again, I, I don't, there just wasn't really anything wrong with how the center of Epcot used to be. I mean, I've heard rumors that Disney just did not want to deal with that big fountain anymore, and that's kind of what led to 
this construction and you know we'll never know the truth but it is what it is i don't hate it but i don't love it i'm right there in the middle i just wish there was a bit more disney throughout the gardens here but this was needed the seating was very much needed so those are my feelings i think i told you guys everything that i felt everything that was on my mind as i was walking around world celebration gardens just feels like i'm walking through a college campus or an outdoor outlet mall we'll go with that again i don't hate it but i don't love it let me know what you guys thought down in the comments i'm very curious to hear what you think of world celebration gardens and you know it's open anyways i will be back later tonight for the debut of luminous thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways i love you guys so much please remember it's nice to be nice in youtube i'll see you in the next video i'm out